Hi, and welcome to another edition of Hacking Maths. Today, we're going to look at plotting straight line graphs. So, grab a pencil and some paper, and let's begin. First off, we're going to look at plotting the line y equals 3x. To do this, it's really easy if we construct a table and use that to find the coordinates that we should plot. So, if we draw a table like so, we choose x here on the top line, and this will be for all the x values that we're going to choose along here, and on the bottom will be our y values that we get. So we don't have any x values, so let's put some in. If I haven't been given any, I normally just choose the four values, 0, 1, 2, and 3. So we're going to work out 3x, so this is 3x, and this means 3 times x. So if x is 0, 3 times 0 is 0. If x is 1, 3 times 1 is 3. If x is 2, 3 times 3 is 6. If x is 3, 3 times 3 is 9. So we've completed our table. We need to write down our coordinates. So we take our x value, which is 0, and our 3x value, which is 0, and we write our first coordinate, 0, 0. The x always comes first, and then the y value. The next one would be 1, 3, 2, 6, and 3, 9. Now that we have these coordinates, we can plot them. Here's a suitably drawn axis with numbers on the x from 0 to 5 and from 0 to 9 on the y. Our smallest x value is 0 and our largest x value is 3, so the x-axis is sufficient. For y, our smallest is 0 and our highest is 9, so our y is sufficient for that as well. So, if we look at our coordinates, let's plot the first one, 0, 0. That plots down here and the, where the axes cross. Then, we have 1, 3. So that means we go along 1 from 0, 0 and up 3. So this should be here. 2, 6, start at 0, 0 again, go along 2, and then up 6. And then from 3, 9, we start at 0, 0, 3 along, 9 up. So, just to recap, to plot points, always start at 0, 0 and go along horizontally the x value, and then up vertically, the y value of our coordinates. We've drawn our four points. We can now draw a straight line that goes all the way through them. Now make sure that your line passes nicely through the axes, through our, where our points were. Okay, let's try a slightly harder line. y equals 2x plus 1. This is a little more complicated and requires our table to be a little bigger. Don't worry, I know it looks scary, but we'll go through it all. As before, we're gonna pick our x values, 0, 1, 2, and 3. And this time though, we're gonna add in a couple of extra steps. We're gonna do our 2x and our plus one. Notice they were in our equation and we've split them up. So first off, we're gonna start with two times zero, which gives me zero. Two times one, which gives me two. 2 times 2, which gives me 4, and 2 times 3, which gives me 6. In this middle row here, we're going to fill that with plus 1s. Now, to get our y value, all we have to do is add the two numbers in the middle. 0 plus 1. It tells us what to do. So that gives an answer of 1. 2 plus 1 gives me 3. 4 plus 1 gives me 5. And 6 plus 1 gives me 7. Now. We're ready to write down our coordinates. We have zero and one. That's our first coordinate. One and three, our second coordinate. Two and five and three and seven. Nice and easy. So let's go on to plot them. Again, this set of axes that we used last time is sufficient. Our lowest x value is zero, so that's fine for here. And our highest x value is three, so that's fine. Our lowest x value is one, but by convention we'll always start at zero and our highest is seven. So we've definitely got enough space on this axis to draw our line. Zero, one is our first point. So we go along zero and we go up one. So we should just be here. One, three, we start at zero, zero, go horizontally one, then up three. Two 
two five, go along two and then up five. And then go along three and up seven. Remember, we always start at zero, zero and work our way across. So we've drawn our four points and then we take our ruler and draw a nice line through them. Right, let's have a look at one last line. And this one is the trickiest of them all. We're gonna plot the line y equals five minus two x. So as always, we'd start with our equation and we'd use that to construct the table. However, this isn't quite in the order that we've had it before. So we should change it so that it actually looks more like what we've been using. We should rewrite this as y equals minus two x plus five. Notice the minus is still in front of the two x and the five, which was positive and although didn't have a sign around it, has the sign written here in our next equation. So we can fill in our table. Can you guess what x values we're gonna use? That's right, zero, one, two, and three. We're gonna write our minus two x here, then our plus five. So let's do our multiplications. Minus two times zero is zero. Minus two times one is minus two. Minus two times two is minus four. Minus two times three is minus six. Then again, we're gonna take our plus fives and write them in here. So this says zero plus five, minus two plus five, minus four plus five, minus six plus five. Basically, just do the sum that's between the two black lines. If this was a minus, it would say zero minus five, and we would write minus five at the bottom. However, it is a plus, so zero plus five is five. Minus two plus five is three, minus four plus five is one, and minus six plus five is minus one. Now we can write our coordinates. So zero and five for the first one. Can you guess the rest? Okay, one and three, two and one, and three minus one. Okay, let's plot these. Now you'll notice that we've used a slightly different set of axes. We're using all four quadrants. We have positive x values and negative x values, positive y values and negative y values. Our smallest x value is zero, and the biggest is three. Our biggest y value is five, and our smallest is negative one. So basically, we have enough space on this. So let's plot zero, five. That means we go horizontally along for zero, and then up five. So that brings us up here. One, three, we start at zero, zero, and we go one across, three up. Two, one, we go two across, one up. And then lastly, we go three across, one down. Takes us to here. Now we should draw our line. We can join the points. Now make sure that your line should fit all the way across. We just don't join the points. We actually extend the line off into infinity. That's all we've got time for this week. I hope to see you again next time on Hacking Maths. <laughs>